Welcome back, Ecom graduates. So, upon a viewer's request, they wanted to be able to uh, make this add to cart button just skip right to checkout. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very quick, it's easy, it's free, and um, very, very simple. Um, and now, this is for Dawn theme. Um, this should technically work on other on all the other free Shopify themes. They're, they're pretty much laid out very similarly. Um, but anyways, let's just get right to it. Right now, this add to cart button, what it does is it pulls up this right here. We want to get rid of this. We want to go straight to checkout. Now, I know there's a buy it now button, but some people want to have both options where it just goes right to checkout. So let's let's get right to it. Um, anyways, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Shopify admin dashboard. You're going to click on online store. Then you're going to go and edit the theme that you want to edit. So this is the theme we want to edit right here. Click on edit code. And there's a few files we're going to edit. So we're going to go right down to assets and we're going to look for cart notifications. And then while we're at it, we're also going to go and open up productform.js. And you'll see here, um, you'll see this dot cart on line nine. Um, we'll just, we're just going to comment this one out right here. And let's go down as well. There's another line here as well. And what this is saying is else if there's no this dot cart, we're going to, uh, have it automatically route to cart URL. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this and I'll show you what that means. Let's refresh. And when you click on add the cart, it's going to go straight to the cart page. So naturally we don't want this, right? We want it to go to the checkout. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this, this right here. Um, what we'll do actually, we'll just comment this just so that that way, you know, you don't know if you ever want to comment a line of code just do uh, two forward slashes right there. And we're going to replace that. We're going to get rid of this this little string of text here and we're just going to do single quotes and we're going to do forward slash checkout and we'll hit save now in another video i'll go more in depth and we'll most likely create a snippet to enable or disable this option for you but for this sake um someone was in a rush uh ju juel ju juel i think that's your name um I'm making this video just for you baby all right so now what we want to do is go to the product and we're going to click add the cart right now we have eight items in our cart so when we go to checkout we should have nine right now as you can see it's taking a little bit come on shopify let's go any day now come on there we go now we have nine so you're straight to checkout that's how you do it return the cart and it brings them to their cart page which is good which is exactly what we want so let's go and do this one more time add the cart we should have one item there you go. Now, most likely you're going to want to edit this add the cart button. Maybe you want it to see, you know, maybe you want to change a text or something, right? So we're going to look for a section and we're going to look for a uh, main product. And then we're going to look for the button. Now there should be a button somewhere uh, where it's add the cart somewhere on here. Now, some of you may have code edits from previous videos and this may be a little bit different, but all you need to do is find the button. So the best way to do this is Let's go back to our cart and go back to the product itself and we'll find the class for that button. So we inspect element and we'll ha we have our inspector window here. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to look for submit. So you see product form buttons. Let's just copy this and let's go and look for it inside of this file. So you can do control F or command F depending on what system you're on. Um, you'll find next and there we go. We have it right here. Submit. Now, normally they have this little text here. So this is a, this is a uh, language file. Now you can go and edit this right inside of locals, depending on what your what theme your language is. Now, naturally we're using English. So what we'll do is we'll find this language file. So we'll find add to cart, copy that, go into here, command F, paste it, find next. Now we have add to cart. So we can do, uh, you know, we can change this to buy it now. Buy it now, hit save. And if you refresh, you'll see, buy it now, buy it now, boom. And it's going to go straight to checkout. We should have two items in our cart. If you're enjoying this video, guys, and it's helping you out, please smash the like button and subscribe. I know I sound like every other YouTuber. We are trying to grow this community. We're trying to build awesome things for you guys. So I, honestly, this is free. So I appreciate it if you just... You know, click the subscribe if you want to get notifications. Bring the little del uh, little bell icon as well, and um, like the video. Drop a comment if you guys want more videos like this. So as you can see, guys, this works. It's very simple. Again, let's go back into it. 
Um, on line 40, on line 50, you're just going to change this, this line to this right here. And then on line nine, you're just going to change this. Now I said, I said to you to open up cart notifications. You don't, I was for something completely different. So you just comment this line out and also, um, uh, comment this line as well. The reason why I say comment it is you don't want to lose the changes. If you want to revert back. I'm not showing you how to add settings for this right now. I'm just showing you how to just get up and running and get this to um, for all your products. This is globally across all your products. If you guys want to see a video on how to add settings, definitely like this video and subscribe and drop a comment saying that you want to see the next video. Okay, uh, showing you how to actually add settings for this. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, until next time.